Hello and welcome to this video on the surface anatomy of the heart. We're going to kick things off by mapping on the skeletal elements of the thoracic wall, starting off with the clavicle superiorly and numbering the true ribs 1 to 7 sequentially down. Not labelled here are the false ribs, which are 8 to 10. They're not present. Neither are the floating ribs 11 and 12. We can label the manubrium of the sternum, articulates with the clavicle, forms a symphysis with the body of the sternum. The body of the sternum itself is flat, but laterally has articular facets for costal cartilages. Next is the xiphoid process, which is variable in shape and size. It starts off as a cartilaginous structure, but becomes ossified in adulthood. Next, we can label the jugular notch, which is a very distinct and palpable notch in the midline. And then the all-important sternal angle. This is a manubrial sternal joint, can be palpated easily, and it is used to find the second rib and count the ribs from that point. Next, we have the sternocostal joints. These are formed with the upper seven costal cartilages and the sternum. It's worth noting that the joint between rib one and the manubrium is not synovial, but instead is fibrocartilaginous. Next, we have joints which are known as the costochondral joints, sometimes referred to as interchondrial joints. These occur between costal cartilages and adjacent ribs. Finally, we need to label on the costal cartilage. So now that we have labelled these key structures on the thorax, we can now draw this diagram once more, this time superimposing the heart on there as well. So the heart rests on the diaphragm and is covered anteriorly by the body of the sternum and the third to sixth costal cartilage, cartilages on both sides. We've got four borders. The first border is created by the upper edge of the third right costal cartilages, approximately about one centimeter from the sternal border. So that's point one. Point two here, this position is inferior to point one and is formed by the middle of the right sixth sternocostal joint, Position three here is the fifth left intercostal space, about nine centimetres from the midline, which represents the midcavicular line. On male subjects, this line runs slightly medial to the position of the nipple, and finding that location in the fifth intercostal space and the midcavicular line finds the apex beat. The fourth position here is about 1.2 centimetres from the sternal edge and this fourth position is the lower margin of the second costal cartilage. cartilage. So these four positions form the borders. We have the right border which is mainly right atrium. We have the lower border which is mainly right ventricle but a small part of the left ventricle at the apex. We have the lower four-fifths of the left border, which is mainly left atrium, and the upper border is formed by both the left and the right atria. And that completes this video on the surface anatomy of the heart.